and gentlemen, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Jeff here again. Been uh, still working side mount submissions. I want to work now from being able to actually achieve what is usually considered to be perfect side control, which is when I get the arm pushed up and dry docked against my hip. That's usually the position that we're all trying to get to. Unfortunately, people don't let us get there very often because they know how bad of a position it is, but I have some unorthodox submissions that I like to hit from there. A little bit different from your standard traditional stuff. So I'm going to show a few of my favorites over the course of the next few videos. The key that I want to keep in mind here when I'm doing these is I'm trying to kill Jiu Jitsu 101 defenses. So when I get into side control, typically what everyone wants to do is they want to turn into you and they want to frame on the inside of your hips and push away. I'm trying to kill that, so whenever I get their arm dry dock, the first thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put pressure back into them to turn away from me. So the first submission that I like to try to set up from there is, it's basically a crucifix neck crank. I've seen a few other names for it out there, but it's not necessarily what I would call a distraction submission in the sense that I don't care if it actually works. It's actually a very high percentage submission if you know how to do it, but it's a really good one to keep in your back pocket whether you really like neck cranking or a lot or not because you'll see when we get to the next video where I'm going to show you a Darce variant that I like to hit from side control. If you do this neck crank and you keep pushing their neck forward so that they keep yanking back on it, it's going to actually set up the next move really well so you can have a nice little one-two to go into to uh, have multiple different attack options. So going from side control here, the last few when we've been stapling, we've been stapling because we haven't been able to get into our dry dock slash perfect side control position. But if I get in here and I've got access to this elbow and I can really get this thing pulled up high, that knee slides underneath so that hopefully he can't get his elbow back to the floor. This turns down and then now this is what I consider to be perfect side control. So I don't want his elbow in my hip. I want his arm a little deeper than that and I'm pinning down here to try to keep this arm locked in place so I can't pull it back. So from this position to set up our crucifix neck crank, I'm gonna go underneath of his head, locking up here at the shoulder. This arm, I don't necessarily need a good tight underhook on. What I actually want is I wanna back up and I wanna to come to his elbow and I wanna push his elbow out and forward. Usually guys wanna keep this in. This might take you know a little bit of distraction. Sometimes I'll pull to make him think I'm wanting to pull on it and then when he goes to reverse his pressure and pull it out, then I can push it up. But when this comes up, this hand that's by the shoulder is gonna lift, karate chop on the inside of his shoulder and armpit and then roll him forward. So from here, you'll see I'm really far forward on him. So if I actually start to drive at this point, my chest pressure is going down into his side. This is not the place that I actually want to drive from. So when I get here, this hand swims out to the hip and then I'm gonna back up. So now my chest pressure is driving into the side of his ribs so that I can then push him forward. Now, from here, back down on my knees. I wanna be on my feet, but I'm on my knees so I'm not putting too much pressure on it. From here, I wanna to try to take this hand and I want this to go all the way to the ground, if I possibly can, while I'm still driving. Now there's a few different ways to finish the neck crank from here. If you've got a guy that doesn't really have a lot of flexibility in his neck, realistically, just ice pick motion with this hand will get it done because it'll drive his neck forward. Uh, guys with a little bit more flexibility or a really strong neck, that's probably not gonna work for. So one thing that I like to do is step over, lock in here, and then I can lock both my hands together and crank forward from there. Or worst case scenario, I can turn this into an actual crucifix by sitting back and then locking this over. And then I can even turn this into a triangle variant. You see I've got his chin tucked to the side here. And I've even got a crank back in the other direction from there. There's a lot of different ways that you can finish it. But the main key is sort of the positioning of getting him turned to the side with his neck cranked forward, both to set up this submission and also to set up the next one. So, side control, switch my hips, lift the elbow, dry dock the arm, come in here tight, underhook the head, looking for the shoulder here, pop the elbow up, karate chop in, back my pressure up, drive forward, check there, maybe I get that, if I can't get that, 
slide that leg inside. Gabe will grip my hands, crank forward there. And if that doesn't work, we sit back to a crucifix. And like I said, I like to sit back, lift the chin, turn that into a triangle choke, and then downward pull from my legs with the upper pull from my hands. We usually get some kind of a neck crank type submission and don't always know exactly what taps them out, but I don't really care. I just want them to tap. I don't care why. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can see all my videos, turn on notifications. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.